One of the most common questions I get asked is, Sam, I want to get into coding, but I don't know which route to take. It's a valid question, and the answer is, it totally depends on your situation. I can't make the decision for you because everyone's gonna be in a different boat. And I wouldn't say there's necessarily a right or wrong path that you could take, but going down a path that's not best fit for you can end up costing you more time and money than needed. The questions that I would ask you are, are you just trying to get a job? Do you wanna be a freelancer? Do you have an idea for an app and you don't want to pay someone to build it for you? I would say there are four important things to factor into your decision. The first one is going to be time. Time is the most important asset we have, so you want to break into the industry as soon as possible without cutting any corners. The second thing to consider is cost, because obviously we want to minimize this as much as possible, because education can be expensive, probably more expensive than it should be, but that's a story for another time. The next thing would be the difficulty. Uh, now this could be the difficulty of the concepts that you're learning or just the sheer amount of work that you need to put in. And then finally, it's the opportunity. What will going down each one of these paths get me? One path may be easier than the other, but it might have less opportunities. So you gotta ask yourself if it's worth it. Now the three most common routes you can go down are self-taught programmer, joining a coding bootcamp, or enrolling in a computer science degree at a university. Let's go through each one of these and look at the pros and cons. By the way, if you'd like to join the Keep On Coding Discord server where you can discuss topics like this with other software developers, there's a link to that down in the description. All right, so let's start with self-taught programmer. Now, self-taught can mean a lot of things. Did you just take one C++ class on Udemy or is this something that you've been doing for years working on full-scale applications? Or anything in between those. So there's, there's definitely a gray area there. I consider self-taught as basically an elimination of the other paths. So you haven't gotten a degree and you haven't done any type of boot camp. So let's start out with the cons. The first thing is you have no guidance where you would have some type of curriculum, like if you were going for a degree, uh, you don't have that. You don't have any professors or instructors to guide you. So you're kind of, you're kind of flying blind. It requires a lot of self-discipline. You're not gonna have any exams. You're not gonna have any due dates that you have to push yourself to meet. You're gonna have to be the one to hold yourself accountable. You don't have any other students in the class to help you out. Uh, so it's definitely a path where you're gonna be doing a lot of it on your own. If you're someone who's trying to get a job, it's definitely gonna be harder to get interviews. Until recently, a lot of these top tech companies wouldn't even look at your application if you didn't have a computer science degree. A lot of companies have said they've dropped this requirement, but let's be honest, you're still gonna be at a huge disadvantage to someone who has a degree. So let's talk about the pros. It's gonna be by far your cheapest option. Nowadays, you can get pretty much like a full on education uh, using free resources like YouTube. You get to learn at your own pace. Like I said, you don't have to learn everything by the time an exam comes around. If you're someone who's already working a full time job, it's not like you're gonna have to go to class at a certain time. You can you know, spend your weeknights or weekends learning. But again, this is when that self-discipline thing comes into play. Because after a full day of work, a lot of times the last thing you wanna do is sit down and study. But you're gonna need that self-motivation. Another pro is the more experience you get, the less not having a degree is gonna hinder you. Once you go more into senior roles, they don't really care whether you have a degree or not, they just wanna see if you have the skills. In fact, a lot of the developers that I work with in senior roles, a lot of them don't have a degree, they were, they were self-taught. And again, this is just assuming you're trying to get a job. Um, if you're someone who's just trying to do like freelance work or, or build your own thing, uh, you probably don't care what an employer or recruiter thinks. All right, let's talk about coding boot camps, which is the one that I get asked about the most. So what is a coding boot camp? Typically, it's gonna be a three to four month accelerated program that teaches beginners programming skills sought out by employers. So the main goal is to get you a job as a software developer, and usually it's gonna be a web or app developer. You'll have teachers and instructors that can guide you as well as other students so you can collaborate and work and learn together. So let's say you're enrolled in a bootcamp for web development. Typically the curriculum is gonna be split up into learning front-end development, backend development and databases. And the goal is to make you a full stack developer. Now, depending on the bootcamp, you're gonna be learning a specific framework or library. So you could be learning something like React on the front end, Node on the back end, and um, something like uh, MongoDB for your database. And then you're gonna be using those tools to build out real applications that you can put on your portfolio or your resume. So let's talk about the pros. Coding boot camps focus on practical skills. So like I mentioned, you're gonna be learning a programming language as well as a library or framework that uses that language. This is different than a degree where you're gonna be focusing more on the theoreticals, you're gonna be taking a lot of math. Boot camps cut all that stuff out and they solely teach you the stuff that you need to build 
real world apps. You get ramped up very quickly. So if you're doing a full-time bootcamp, be prepared to spend at least 40, 40 hours a week uh, throughout the course of the program. Another pro, which I think is underrated and sometimes overlooked, is that you'll, you're gonna meet a lot of other people that are in your position. You guys are all learning a skill together. Usually it's people that are in the same boat as you, people that are unhappy with their current field and you kind of automatically form a bond with them. And who knows, maybe you'll make some friends. Of course, coding boot camps have their cons. Uh, one is that it's a pretty intense program. It's gonna be very difficult to do if you're working another job. I have seen some boot camps that offer a flexible schedule on weeknights and weekends, but that means that the program itself is probably gonna take like twice as long to complete. Another con is that they're expensive. I mean, we're talking 15 to $20,000 for something that lasts three months. A lot of boot camps may not be considered as legitimate. Technically, I could put together a boot camp and you can say, hey, I graduated from Sam's boot camp, but like, no one knows how credible that is compared to a university that's had to meet certain criteria and certain standards to be accredited. Another con is that there are lots of boot camps out there. It seems like there's one popping up like every day. So how do you know which one to choose? I mean, you pretty much have to go through either reviews or like find articles that rank them. But I mean, who knows how, who knows how reliable those are. Another thing is that the tools that you're learning can go obsolete. A framework that's popular today may not be popular in a few years. A bootcamp isn't gonna teach you the theoreticals. You're not gonna be learning operating system concepts, things like analyzing algorithms, how the CPU and the RAM and the hard drive work together. And finally, you're probably gonna end up with a lower salary since you know, you're probably not gonna get into like those top tech companies right off the bat. There are exceptions, but for the most part, you're probably gonna end up getting a job with a random company. All right, finally, we have a degree and I'm talking about a computer science or computer science related degree like software engineering. So for the pros, in my opinion, a formal education is always gonna be better than a boot camp. The quality of instructor is gonna be better than boot camps. They usually have some type of graduate degree. You're gonna get a better breadth of knowledge. You get a good balance between practical, theoretical, and mathematics. You have access to office hours, which gives you one-on-one -on -one time with your professor. And a, a degree is forever. A, a boot camp that taught Ruby like five years ago isn't gonna age well. A lot of boot camps probably won't even be around in a few years. In 20 years for me, I'm gonna have my degree on my resume and it's still gonna hold weight. And a degree, it just has more credibility. If you're like, hey, I got a computer science degree from UCLA, it's gonna hold a lot more weight than saying, hey, I graduated from this random boot camp that no one's heard of. Another big one is internship opportunities. This is huge. I would say the biggest roadblock of the other two routes is it's hard to get your foot in the door because you don't have any real experience. It's fairly easy to get an internship as a computer science student. So having that on your resume as you're applying for full-time jobs, uh, it's, it's just gonna be a huge advantage. So let's talk about the cons. Now there's gonna be a lot of fluff in a degree. Like I just wanna learn about coding and computers. Why do I need to take a general ed writing class? The next con is the time it takes to complete a degree. It's gonna take you a few years. That's years that could have been spent getting real world experience, getting paid. Um, instead, you're paying money to learn. And then finally, we have to talk about the price. Now there's a huge disparity between which college you go to, but generally uh, college is, is not cheap. All right, so let's do a little recap of these three. First, the self-taught. This is better for someone who is switching careers. Maybe you're older, so you don't wanna to go to college with people that are like half your age, or maybe you're limited in when you can learn because you have either a family or a job. Self-taught allows you to learn at your own pace. For a bootcamp, I would say this is great for someone who wants to quickly break into the industry. It's a great way to network, especially if you don't know anyone in tech yet. So I would say it's best for someone who has disposable income and the time to enroll in an intensive program. For a degree, I would say this is better for someone who's younger, probably like under 30, although that's not a requirement, but someone who's going to college anyways, or they're not in any type of time crunch or hurry. All right, hopefully that gave you some insight on the differences between the three routes and gave you some guidance. I will say one thing though, if you are picking one of these routes because you think it's the easiest, that's not a good way to, of deciding because they each have their own roadblocks and challenges. You have to pick the one that makes most sense for you and your situation. But I know people who have gone down all three of these routes and successfully broken into the software development industry. So uh, they're definitely all doable. If you guys enjoyed the video and learned something, or maybe you're someone who's contemplating going down one of these three routes, make sure you guys hit the like button and leave a comment if you have any questions. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, keep on coding.